Hi everyone! Um, it feels so weird sitting down and talking to you guys again. Obviously, um, I'm back to these videos now. Unfortunately, the last Disneyland Paris vlog, vlog went up last week and that is it until our next trip, unfortunately. Um, I just want to start this video by saying a huge, huge thank you to everyone who has watched, liked, commented and, and even just enjoyed the Disneyland Paris vlog so far this year. Um, obviously the last one was our May trip which was the end of Swing Into Spring um, and I just miss it all so much but um, unfortunately now the vlogs are done and like I said there won't be any more up in, until our next trip which is in for oh gosh um, another couple of months unfortunately. Um, but I will do a video soon enough to let you guys know when we'll when we'll be going back, what dates, kind of all that kind of information for you guys. So um, that will come soon when I know more about it. <laughs> as soon as I know, you guys will know. So yeah, I thought I would pop on some ears today for you guys. Um, these are actually my very first pair of custom made ears made by my friend Ree. Um and they're so cute. I absolutely love the huge bow for them. Um, and you can find Re and all of our other ears um, down in the description box below. I will link to her stuff if you are wanting a pair of these lovely floral ears. Yeah, I thought I would pop on some ears today and do the Disneyland Paris tag. Um, I'm pretty sure this tag was created by Ellie. Um, if you don't know who Ellie is, I will also link to her down below. And you should definitely check her channel out. She's awesome. Her Disney vlogs are amazing. Um, and just her channel and content is great as well. So I will link to her below as well as Ree so you can find these ears as well. So the Disneyland Paris tag is just a bunch of questions um, about Disneyland Paris and let's get started. So question number one, when was your first trip and how many times have you been? <laughs> I do not remember. I was about I want to say eight or nine when I first went to Disneyland Paris. I went with my family. I don't really remember much about it, unfortunately. I remember being there and kind of a few things that we done and stuff like that because there's pictures around the house. Um, but I don't really remember when my first trip was exactly. I just remember I was like kind of eight or nine roughly. And yeah, I've been five times. Five times altogether I've been to Disneyland Paris and each time it just gets more and more amazing. Um, question two, what Disney hotels have you stayed in or one you haven't stayed in that you'd like to? Unfortunately, I have never stayed in a Disney hotel. It doesn't matter what property I've been on in Disney, I've never stayed in a Disney hotel. That probably shocked some of you, right? <laughs> yep, it shocked me too. Um, I don't know, I just, I just never stayed in one. I've stayed in Disney sister hotels, but I've never actually stayed in an official Disney hotel, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but in Disneyland Paris, I would either love to stay in Newport Bay, um, because I don't know what it is about Newport Bay, I just think it looks amazing, um, or of course the Disneyland, like the Disney Hotel, like the actual big thing that you see when you get straight there. It's just so beautiful, inside and out, and I absolutely love it. I'd love to stay there at least for one night, um, but we'll see. <laughs> um, question number three, what is your favourite restaurant? I want to say after my April trip, I want to say Inventions. I wasn't overly impressed by the characters that came out of Inventions, but we didn't go for like a, like a brunch or anything like that. We just went on a kind of regular day. Um, but overall, out of everywhere I've eaten at Disneyland Paris, I'd probably say that it is my favorite food-wise. There's just so much more option. It's just better food. I don't know. I'd probably just mainly go for that. Um, and it's just a nice feel inside as well, I think. Um, and there's a lot of places I haven't eaten, so for right now I'd say inventions, but it could possibly change. Question four, a restaurant you'd like to eat in that you haven't yet? I'd probably either say Blue Lagoon. Um, I kind of always used to think that it was like mostly fish served in there, but I had a better look at the menu. Um, and there are a few options I'd probably go for, so I'd really like to try in there. Obviously Pirates of the Caribbean, I love it, it's inside the ride and it just, I'd really like to kind of just go in more for the feel rather than the food. Um, but who knows if it could be great. Um, or Waltz, we've never eaten in Waltz before, we were going to one day and I think it was closed. Um, so unfortunately we never got to go in. But I'd really like to eat there one day, I know the menu is quite 
crazy I believe um but I think at least one day of your trip you should really kind of splurge on your meal and just have a really good meal so um but that's just my opinion <laughs> um question five your favorite quick service slash fast food um I'd probably say I've not eaten there a lot but I'd probably say Hakuna Matata has probably been my favorite um, I've eaten in there a few times and now and I don't know I just like the feel of it and the food the food's out, it's really quite really nice um and yeah I just really like it. Um, um, question six what is your favorite shop? The Christmas shop? <laughs> um I don't know I just love going into the Christmas shop it's inside the castle at the back and it's just I don't know you just I just feel more magical because it's in Disney it's in the castle and it's Christmas and I just love Christmas Disney related things and that's my favourite shop at Disneyland Paris. Um, <laughs> Question 7, your favourite season or event? So I haven't spent a lot of like seasons in Disneyland Paris. Um, unfortunately the Christmas stuff I kind of ended when we went in January um, and I've been in September where like the Halloween decorations where the Halloween decorations have been out but there's been nothing like Halloween-y about it because obviously that doesn't start until October. Um, so I probably have to go for Easter for this one, obviously Swing Into Spring. Obviously me and my friends have been two trips during Swing Into Spring this year um, and it's just amazing. Like I loved every aspect of it, every part of it was just so good. <laughs> I cried the last day of it. Um, I just really, really enjoyed it. It was something I've never experienced before and I just love so, that. Question 8. Disneyland Park or Walt Disney Studios? <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a tough question. <laughs> um, I probably have to say um, Disneyland Park. I don't know, like I love Walt Disney Studios, don't get me wrong, I love the rides. I love like the little Ratatouille area and the Pixar play, love the Pixar area. Um, and I just love the park in general, it's just incredible, especially with the rides. But there's just that feeling you get when you walk down Main Street and you can see the castle and the music's playing there's just there's nothing quite like it I don't think um so that's why my answer has to be Disneyland Park unfortunately sorry Walt Disney Studios I still love you question nine your favorite ride in each park oh that's a good question um of course in Disneyland Park it has to be Pirates of the Caribbean. Everyone who knows me knows how much I love that and Haunted Mansion. Obviously their Haunted Mansion is a bit different, it's Haunted Manor. Um, it doesn't quite have the same effect on me as the Haunted Mansion over in Walt Disney World. Um, but I hate comparing them, I really do love Haunted Manor but it would have to be Pirates of the Caribbean. And over in the studios, um, Walt Disney Studios Park, it would have to be... I want to say Tower of Terror. I love Tower of Terror, but Crush's Coaster is really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, I haven't been on it in a while. Obviously, it was going under some refurb, but yeah, um, I'd probably say Tower of Terror. Your f number eleven. Your favorite character me. I don't know. <laughs> um, I've had so many. I've been really fortunate enough um, that I've met loads of different characters um, in, in Disneyland Paris. I've had amazing meet and greets. Obviously there's been Belle. Um, there has been Peter Pan. Every time I meet Peter Pan it's amazing. Um, there's been oh the first time I met Tiana and Naveen. That was incredible. I just absolutely love those two so much. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I remember meeting Geppetto and Pinocchio, but that was really special because Pinocchio was my favourite as a child. So meeting the two of them together was pretty cool. But just all of them. That's my answer. All of them. Oh <laughs> Question twelve: Your best character meet and greet experience? Hmm. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I really loved our last meet and greet with Peter Pan. Um, if you guys have watched that vlog you'll know that he was just cracking out jokes left right and centre and they were awful but they were so hilarious and Hook was just like what are you doing you idiot and it was just really funny it was like I don't know if it was maybe my best but it stands out a lot to me just because of the stupid joke um, and then obviously the fact that he kind of remembered us um, at the very start you'll notice that he's kind of like 
I remember you guys, you guys again, seriously. Um, I don't know, it just stands out to me. I don't know if it's probably my favorite or my best, but yeah. Um, question 13, this is the last one, guys. Um, your happiest or best Disneyland Paris memory? <laughs> I think just going with my friends and getting that experience and the making memories with my friends is probably my best experience of Disneyland Paris. As much as I love the food, the shows, like the characters, everything about the place just screams pure happiness. Um, I'd probably just say making memories with my friends because that is why I go. I just love Disney and knowing that my friends love Disney as much as me is just something that you don't uh, it's just something that you should really cherish, like knowing that you have people in your life who you love and who love you and who love the same experiences of you and they're, you're having just as great a time as them and they're having just as great a time as you. Um, that's probably my best Disneyland Paris memory is just making memories with my friends um, and I'll cherish them forever because I don't think you'd have, yeah okay I think you could have an amazing time yourself but it's good making memories with people who you value in your life, do you know what I mean? Like, I think I'd still have a great time if I went away by myself, but it's not quite as good as having your best friends there. Um, and like, if you're enjoying, you're enjoying your ride and you look to your side and you see your best friends just having like an amazing time as well, there's not, there's not a feeling quite like that. Or watching your friends meet their favourite character, it's just amazing and it's such a great experience. And that's probably one of my favourite things about going to Disney is just having an amazing time away with my friends in a place that I hold very dear to my heart. Um, so yeah, that was a really emotional tag. <laughs> um, some deep questions there guys. Um, but yeah, that is me for today guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. Have you ever been to Disney? Anyone, doesn't matter, doesn't need to be Disneyland Paris, even though this tag is all about that. Um, and if you have, what has been your best or most memorable experience of your Disney trip? Doesn't matter which one, just let me know down in the comments below. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching, like this video, or and remember to comment. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I put out new videos every Friday, and I will see you real soon. Mm -hmm.